Good morning, hot doggies. It's Monday, January 22nd, and you're tuned in to the Daily Announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Frankfurt High School. I'm Isaac, and this is Ricardo. What's up, dogs? For lunch today, in lines one and two, there are chicken snack wraps. Line three has soup and salad bar featuring potato soup. Line four is rotini, and line five is wild Mike's pizza. Today's birthdays goes out to Colby Compton. Now it's weather with Mo Perry. Hey, baby. It's been too long. It's raining outside, in case you couldn't tell. Anyway, uh. On temperature front, there'll be a high of 51 and a low of 33 later tonight. It's currently 50 degrees. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Mo. Deca cookies this week will be M&M, sugar, chocolate brownie, and chocolate chip. Stop by the Deca cart by the business rooms to purchase your cookies between passing periods. In other Deca news, today after school, there's Deca after dark from 2.45 to 4 p.m. Best Buddies members who want to go on the field trip Friday must pick up a permission slip and turn that plus the money in by Thursday. Lunchtime Book Club meets this Wednesday, January 24th, in all lunches. Bring your book and come during your scheduled lunch. Lunch will be provided. As Academic Bowl will be arriving soon, see Senior Fortner for more details if you wish to participate. Students are welcome to sign up for the Visiting Artists Workshop at the Frankfurt Library. In this session, you will learn Bollywood dancing by a professional dancer. The session will be held on February 8th from 4.30 to 6. Come check it out. Have you taken a Project Lead the Way class or maybe Advanced Manufacturing? Are you going into your senior or junior year? If so, you may be eligible for a paid membership opportunity this summer. This is a six-week summer internship that pays over $2,000 and gives you the chance to see just what manufacturing today is all about. Last day to apply is January 29th. If you even think you might be interested, contact Mr. Blunt or Mr. Smith, or see the, this link in the description box. The Zonta Club is offering a $500 scholarship to one qualified senior girl enrolled in Clinton County School Corporation. The goal of Zonta is to encourage young women to participate in public affairs by recognizing a commitment to the volunteer sector. There will be a fan bus for the Boys Basketball Husker Classic game in Knightstown on January 27th, 2018. Game time is at 8 p.m. The fan bus will leave at 6 p.m. Tickets cost $10 and it is free to ride the fan bus. Please sign up in the bookstore if you are interested in attending. You must turn in a permission slip and your $10 at the bookstore. Tickets will be given to you on when you board the bus on January 27th. The deadline is the deadline to sign up, pay your ticket, and turn in your permission slip is Thursday, January 25th at, the, at noon. This is only open to FHS students. Auditions for this year's spring musical, Bye Bye Birdie, will be held Wednesday, January 24th with callbacks Thursday the 25th after, after school. Please prepare 16 bars of a song of your choice. If you don't know a song, that's okay. Come on out anyway. Any questions, please see Mr. Taylor in the theater. 21st Century Scholar is pair, pairing with Ivy Tech Anderson to host an opportunity for families and students to come in to receive assistance with their 21st Century Scholarship. They will have FAFSA specialist state financial aid representatives and college expert available to answer any questions you may have. This great opportunity will just will take place on January 25th. Now to sports with Maddie. The boys golf team will have a call out meeting on Friday, January 26 at 8 a.m. for those wishing to participate this spring. The meeting will be in Mr. Rick's room, room 103. Returning players, first timers sh and should plan to attend. Frankfurt fell to Noblesville 28-57. Damon Moore played a great game inside and finished well around the rim. The JV team fell to the Millers 36-57. The team played Noblesville very tough in the first half, but the Millers got hot from beyond the arc and ran away with it in the end. 
Frankfurt came out on top in both games on Saturday night at home against Clinton Central. The varsity team won 68 to 39. The team went in up eight at the half, but finished out the win by outscoring Clinton Central 39-18 in the second half. The JV team won 63 to 45. The team went into the half down two, but was able to respond well enough to outscore the Bulldogs 33-13 in the second half. The team did a great job sharing the ball on the offense and ended six having players total five more points. The dogs returned to action on Thursday night with the JV hosting Crawfordsville. The varsity will play at Crawfordsville on Friday. Then having a great opportunity Saturday, Saturday to play West Lafayette at the historic Hoosier Gym in Knightstown. On Saturday, the girls traveled to Crawfordsville to compete in the regional event at Plaza Lanes. In team event, the top two teams advanced to the semi-state and FHS finished in third. They bowled 12 Baker games in qualifying and, and through the first seven games, they bounced back and forth between number one and number two. In game eight, Brownsburg had a big game and FHS was unable to take the second spot. Back over the last four games, the in individual competition, Jordan Anderson qualified number five and Brianna Gibbons qualified number eight. In qualifying, there was only 20 pins difference between number eight and number two, closest qualifying group we've seen. Both girls will advance to semi-state January 27th in Lafayette at Mike Albee's Arrowhead Bowl. Competition starts at 9 a.m. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks for watching the daily announcements. We'll see you tomorrow.